So we're going to start to uh, measure our ring and gap measurement in each of the uh, six cylinder bore of our N54. So you guys can see here we have brand new BMW rings and I've identified them from cylinder one through six. Uh, we've got as your number one here, your C being your top compression ring, two, your middle compression ring, and three, your oil control rings. So. We're gonna go ahead, uh, we would just wanna keep everything organized so when we measure the rings and we've got the gap readings, we uh, align them to each of the bore accordingly. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up and start our measurement. All right, we have our rings set up right at the top, our number one compression ring on each of the six cylinder, right at the top. Uh, just take notice, uh, make sure you've got the markings this says stop so make sure make sure the top is uh clearly identified on there on each of your rings and you guys will notice i've orientated all my rings in the same position this is where my ring gap is this is just to uh stay consistent the way that i'm going to install them on my piston uh, so these all rings will be orientated in this direction when installed on my piston I'm going to use the piston to just push the rings down a little bit. But what I'm also going to do to make sure that my ring is square in the bore because the piston tends to skew the rings when you push them down. And if you skew the rings, they could be twisted and you could get a wrong gap reading. It's also very important when you are in the borderline of um, end gap readings, uh, you want to make sure you're square. So. We're gonna go ahead and use this uh, digital caliper. We've set it to 10 millimeter, and we're gonna use this with the base against the surface here to set the, all the rings at 10 millimeter, okay? All right, so we have all our rings uh, squared in our bore. Uh, number one top compression ring set at 10 millimeter below the deck height. Uh, that's going to be our first measurement position. Um, guys, take a closer look. This is this is kind of what I did. The just set the base on the surface there, and then set the ring accordingly all around. Then I use my finger just to push the ring up against the. Uh, edge of the caliper, the the protrusion of the caliper to set my 10, mil, 10 millimeter. Um, you guys do not have to use a uh, digital dial caliper. Um, you can use a scale, a metal scale, uh, just to be able to have consistent measurements all around also. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our first uh, measurement on our ring gap on number one. Uh, let's start with a 9,000 uh, feeler gap gauge. You see, this is tight and it does not go in all the way. Uh, let's take a look at an eight. See, our eight goes in all the way. So I would say this is an eight and a half, 0 0.0085. Okay, let's go ahead and check the rest of them. So we just finished with the top uh, measurement for the number one compression ring. Uh, all gap readings are very good, uh, less than uh, 0 0.010 across the board on the top measurement. So now I've used the piston and I pushed it down to the middle position. I'm gonna set that middle position at 45 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push that ring down all the way around. And then we are gonna set our measurement and then take our gap reading all the way across. The last measurement of the number one compression ring, we're going to do that at 80, uh, 79 millimeter. That's about 10 millimeter above the stroke. I believe the stroke on these engines is the same as the N55, which is 89.6. So we're going to set in the measurement on the caliper to 79.6, 79 millimeter. And we'll take our last gap reading at the bottom of the bore. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that done.
So we've got, um, we, we finished our measurement on the bottom of the number one compression ring. So now ahead, we're going to go ahead and remove these ring. I wanted to show you guys. So when you remove these ring, you just want to flip the ring up vertically like this here. And then you get in there with your fingers and you overlap the gaps and you pull it out. You don't want to score the uh, bore. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that for all uh, the remaining bores. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, check our number two compression ring. So you guys recall this ring, the number one compression ring was installed with the gap over here. This is our number two compression ring right here. Okay. I know this has got the markings on the top as well. And also what you'll notice on the bottom, there's a scraper. Uh, second compression ring typically have a scraper on the bottom here, like a, a recess. If you can see it from the edge right there. Uh, that allows when the piston comes down to scrape the oil back into the pan. Okay. So this ring here, we will set this up like here. With this gap sitting right here typically 180 degrees from the number one compression ring so number one is going to be installed in the piston like that number two is going to be installed like this uh, we're going to go repeat our measurements for the number two compression ring with the different depths at the 10 millimeter 45 millimeter and the 79 millimeter okay So we have our number two compression ring set up in our bore. We've got them all across uh, one through six at the 10 millimeter position. Uh, reminder, uh, top or letters uh, facing the top. Um, I've gone ahead and measured the initial uh, top reading on the number two compression ring. All pretty good, less than 18 thousandths across the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, measure the 45 millimeter and the 78 millimeter depth and uh, I think that'll be it for ring gap and gap readings into the bore. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thanks. Hey guys, so thanks for joining me as part of this uh, N54 build. Uh, that's it for this episode. We'll, we'll call it a day right now. Um, please check out all my other episodes to come on this N54 build. Uh, like I said, I'm doing a very detailed uh, DIY build on this N54. Uh, so please go ahead and uh, hit the like button, subscribe and share. And uh, check out all my other uh, episodes on my other uh, builds. I've got an N55 build, I've got a M20 build, and I've got a E36 S50 M3 build. Uh, so leave me a comment, leave me a question, let me know what you're thinking. All right. Thanks guys for joining. 